What are the handmade trends that you should be looking out for this year in 2023? Stick around, I'm telling you all about them right now. This has been a video I have been compiling information on for quite a number of weeks. So hopefully you guys get some value out of it and find something useful. The three things or the areas that we will be focusing on are overall brand vibes. This could come through your packaging, your overall aesthetic, your brand appearance, things like that. The fragrance trends for 2023 and finally, meaningful ingredients. I think that that is a huge trend that may be overlooked. People are looking for those meaningful ingredients. They aren't looking for a bunch of fluff. They want to know exactly what's in their products without all of the extras in it, and I've got that for you here. I have compiled all of this information from sources like Brambleberry's trend report, Jane.com's trend report, Etsy's trend report, Google Keywords, all of their trends, so this is going to be a great list for you if you're not exactly sure where to get started this year. First things first, let's go ahead and get the vibe check. This year, 2023, the trends are heavily based on minimalism. People are not looking for all the extra fluffy stuff. They are looking for a very minimalistic, simplistic approach to all things bath, body, home, skin, all the above, right? When thinking in terms of minimalism, they're looking for clear, concise, nice, but not um, too crazy things that fit in with everyday vibes. So that could apply to, again, your packaging, even down to the jars and labels that you use. They're not looking for, consumers are not looking for these crazy labels with a hundred different you know, things listed on them. They're looking for just that main streamline of information that is necessary for all of our products. Some other trends that I saw were um, a lot of Scandinavian. I don't know about you guys, but like the country farmhouse era, I believe in my opinion is over with. People are looking for a back to the basic, but very, very nice type of product. Another thing that fits in this category would be things that are nostalgic. And I know that this one is a big one that gets me when I'm looking, especially lately, as I've been kind of paring down my offerings to things that really, really make sense for me and my brand. People really, really want to see things that remind them of happier times in the past. We're over the past couple of years and how things have been, you know, going really and we want to be reminded of those better times so definitely you can um, look on pinterest to find brand boards or not even brand boards but just vision boards or vibe boards that really fit into those categories and on to the fragrances. Y'all know I love a good fragrance. So here are the fragrance trends for 2023. Overall, it looks like the trends for consumers are citrus-based products, nature-based products, and things that are a little bit more complex. So whereas a citrus might have you looking for a crisp, like grapefruit, let's say, the consumers are not looking for just a grapefruit. They want a grapefruit mixed with something a little bit Bit more unexpected. Again, just taking those basic notes and pairing them with something more complex. So maybe instead of just offering a grapefruit scrub, maybe you would offer a grapefruit champagne scrub or a Moscato, something like that would be really, really great. And would also, for a lot of people, I think hit a nostalgic tone. Fresh spring nature notes are gonna hit so hard. I do think that it's going to be less of the floral in the way of roses and more of fresh florals like peony, um, getting some juniper in there, these outdoorsy smells, very cedarwood type, birch, all of those excellent outdoor notes are going to be huge for the spring. I know you can hear that baby. She just started crawling, so she's up and around and into everybody's business now. And again, when we're thinking of how to fragrance our products, especially if you offer candles, people are looking for candles that fit in a home. They're looking less for those feminine products and especially in, again, the case of a candle, less of for those feminine fragrances and more fragrances, again, something more mature that fits over an entire home. I know I love when a family comes in and I have a candle burning and they're like, oh man, it smells so good in here. You know, those fragrances 
pieces I find are complex. They hit all of the notes that I've mentioned above, but they're not overly feminine. They're very nice fragrances um, that are unisex and you it's really hard to kind of hit one note in. They're like, mm, man, this smells like something, and, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. That's what people are looking for this year. Some of my top fragrance oil picks for this particular trend would be the Peach Prosecco from Brambleberry. You guys know that is one of my OGs. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's perfect. It hits multiple notes, but it's not overly feminine. It's really, really nice to just kind of have laid as a base layer for the home. Another really good one I like is from Wholesale Supplies Plus and it is Blue Agave Sugar. That one hits every single time. It's great. I actually just made a scrub with it yesterday and uh, it just smells, smells so good. This one is a little bit more floral, but it's not overly floral and that is Wildflower Breeze from Brambleberry. Again, it's another really nice one. It's hitting more than one scent note and it just fills the room with an amazing fragrance that's not again too feminine or um you know over the top with floral it just it's it's a really really nice fragrance and one more for this it's an unexpected but the candle science coconut soleil that one oh, smells so good right now i have it in a soap and a scrub i'll be adding a body butter later this week it just is again it's like uh, it's like smelling coconuts right but a more mature coconut you know maybe the coconut you know has has a good paying job or something like that it just smells very very good so i would highly recommend those fragrances to fit into these trends for the year now let's hit these meaningful ingredients all over TikTok, there are different claims about products and their ability to help you do this, that, and the third, right? But people aren't looking for something crazy. They want something that they know works and is based in science. So the first ingredient that I have to share with this is hyaluronic acid. It's a fabulous ingredient for skincare products. It helps to resurface the skin. There are tons of scientific journals and a lot of research has been done in the way of this product. It is hot for 2023 and I have actually seen it on Brambleberry's website. A little bit more of an interesting one is squalene oil. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know if it's squalene or squalene. Whatever it is, it is a really nice oil for skincare products, especially if you live in a colder climate or have something like eczema or very dry skin. Squalene oil is a great thing that you can add in there and it is a heavy hitter for 2023. I have seen this all over the place. It's on TikToks, it's everywhere. So if you can get your hands on some squalene oil and add it into your products, I'm laughing because I can't tell if I'm saying it right, but I'm like convinced that that's how you say it. So anyway, anyway, Get that squalene oil into products if you can. I've also seen that on Brambleberry's website. This one's pretty different and I've never heard of it before researching these trends and that is Swiss Glacier Extract. I haven't been able to find it at any of our typical suppliers like Wholesale Supplies Plus, Brambleberry, um, Bulk Apothecary. I, it's kind of like, I don't know, a white elephant in the room, I guess. Everyone talks about it, but I haven't been able to find a supplier for it. So if you know of one, or if you find one, leave it in the comments below if you're feeling like helping out some other handmade business owners. The, I will put the essay that I read or the scientific research that I read regarding this um, ingredient down in the description box, but it is apparently supposed to be like A+. And finally, back to something you've probably heard of already, that is ceramides. Now, ceramides is an interesting one because it is a naturally occurring like fat that um, happens in your body on its own, right? Naturally occurring, of course. So, at, but as you get older, the supply of ceramides in your skin goes down. So the purpose of adding it into your products would be to really moisturize your skin from the inside out. It builds up those fat cells again and just makes your skin look glowy. It, it looks great. Again, I haven't been able to find this one at a supplier, but it is heavy in there. I'm sure someone will be able to find some ceramides, get their hands on them and get them into your products. But I will, 
and I forgot to mention this before I started talking about ingredients. If you're adding them into your products, make sure you're putting them in there in a meaningful way. Don't just add a pinch of squalene oil and call it a day. You know, you wanna make sure that you're putting in the proper percentages to actually make that product effective, especially if you're planning on making um, those ingredients a selling point for you. And finally, as far as um, like colors and vessels and that kind of thing, a few trends that I saw were the Pantone Colors of the Year. Etsy has announced that their Colors of the Year are going to be Indigo and Honeycomb. Those are two excellent colors and I could see us doing a lot of great things with those two. And then, of course, the most fun would be the Pantone Color of the Year, which is Viva Magenta. It is like the neonest neon magenta you will ever see in your life it is fabulous and i know especially if you are a colorful brand that this will be perfect for you vessels i think that most people and according to these trend reports are moving away from the heavy concrete that's not to say that they're not great or that they have no purpose or business being in our businesses this year but i just saw according to all of these market trends that they're moving away from concrete vessels um, specifically for candles and going for more of a kind of wooden wick um, inside of a glass but not just a plain glass they're looking at textured glasses uh, I saw that was huge for this year textured glass vessels um, wooden lids wooden wicks something that's simple but a little bit unexpected we all know the classic glass candle with the classic cotton wick um, those of course still have a place but they're moving away from those types of things and moving into those textured glasses and wooden wicks Okay, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'll link down below some of the reports that I mentioned today and that Swiss glacier, um, what was it, extract, and that Swiss glacier extract, that's a little bit hard to say. Um, I'll link that below as well so you can continue on and do your own research. If you find something excellent and you are willing to share, we'd love to read about it in the comments below. Anything that you're interested in more detail on, please leave that in the comments and I will come down and answer whatever I can for you. I'm an open book. You guys know me. I'm happy to do research. I'm going to call it a day there. I'll see you in my next video. If you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you. We're going, growing quite quickly and it is truly amazing. I'm so happy to be able to provide value to anyone willing to watch the channel. So I will leave you there and see you next week.